Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to uh, go over uh, part of chapter 2, which is um, how to erase using the erase command and uh, the selecting methods. So that is uh, page 64 uh, uh, from um, uh, the book Discovering AutoCAD 2020. So um, in this exercise from chapter 2 or um, the subject here, how to erase and how to select objects on AutoCAD. So let's go over uh, the erasing. And uh, we need to talk about several ways mentioned here to select objects. So it's very important in AutoCAD to know how to select objects. You can select any object by just a click on them simply. However, in the complicated drawings, it's really hard to pick uh, just one by one object. So we need to find uh, more efficient ways. Um, the way that we will use, you can use any way. That is, um, I cannot say like this way is better than this way, uh, but um, the drawing itself will force you to choose one over another one. Uh, so always you need to know all the ways to select objects, then you choose the best way for you for each drawing. Uh, the first way to select objects in the drawing is window. And as you see here in the table, and that is table uh, 217, object selecting me method charts. This is very important topic here. Uh, the first thing window, and when we have the window, all the entities uh, will be selected in the box. So if you open a window, you will select everything inside. Crossing or C, the entities cross by, uh, within the box, anything you cross. So as you see here from uh, the image, if you cross the circle will be selected. However, this one, you have to be completely inside the window. Previous or P, entities that were previously picked. Anything that you picked, like if you're copying, so the last thing that you copied. However, the last, the last thing that is drawn. This is a little bit tricky here. So if you copy a window several times, Previous will be the window, the original window that you copied, last the original window that you draw. Then remove and add will be used together. Uh, if you are selecting, you put remove to deselect. So remove entities from the items selected. So they will not be part of the selected group. So this is one way to remove something from selecting. So you deselect, add, reverse what you started with the remove and continue to add objects. So add entity that were removed and allows for more selections after the use of remove. So these two works together and you should be in the editing command like erase, copy, uh, move or anything from the modify panel to, to use them. All, when you uh, get select object, if you select all or A enter, the first letter for alias. Uh, here you select everything on the screen. Fence, F, enter. So you can draw a line um, to uh, select uh, the entities across by the fence. So you can draw a line. And this is very useful if you have complicated a drawing. You don't need to draw um, a window or a crossing window. So you just go over with the fence. Uh, WP or window polygon and here you draw uh, lines as a polygon and everything, um, uh, all entities completely within the window will be um, selected. However, CP or cross polygon, the entities are crossed by so they don't need to be completely inside as you see in this example with the window, this circle will be selected because it's completely inside the polygon. However, the other one, everything across. So these four circles will be selected. Uh, now, uh, let's, um, let's go to AutoCAD and um, see what does that mean. Here you go. Um, now let's draw some objects here. So I'm gonna draw some lines and I will show you more ways even than uh, this, maybe they mentioned later in the chapter. 
I will draw here uh, some lines. And remember when you start the line command with L enter or from the command line, if you uh, draw a line and you hit the enter button, so uh, you can uh, start a line command one more time by uh, putting, um, uh, hitting the enter uh, button. So I draw here several lines. Now I gonna draw uh, some circles using uh, centers. Also, if I hit the enter, I can draw more circles. Okay, so here I draw some circles. A similar way, I'm gonna draw some rectangles just to show you several ways to selecting. I'm just making them inside each other in a purpose. Um, okay, uh, remember, because I just went over, if you do undo, uh, that will uh, delete or undo several steps and from this little arrow, you can undo several steps. Like if I go back, I'll undo to the line, all this, so that I'll undo everything. This is redo, if I go back, I will re redo everything. Uh, now, if I uh, click on a circle, for example, uh, and delete it, uh, if I do something like that, erase, I can erase in different ways. I can select something, then click erase, and I can do the opposite way. I hit erase, and then select the object and this is what we call it a uh, verb noun or noun verb however if you need to start with uh, the race then select that verb now or select then erase which is noun verb now both ways will work now let's say that i deleted something and i needed to get back i just made it by mistake so i can type oops Oops command will bring the last thing deleted back. Uh, now let's talk about the selected methods uh, in figure 2.7 that we just discussed before. Uh, the first thing, let's say that I have all of this and I need to select something. Um, I need to erase and as you see when I start an editing command, I get on the screen select object. Okay, if I need to um, erase a lot of objects here, I can go and select easily by clicking, but this is sometimes will take a lot of time and it's really a uh, pain. I need to find more efficient way, more easier way. Uh, now, select object, I can um, use a way uh, that is uh, called question mark. Okay, if I put a question here, and I put enter, uh, they will tell you here, if you read windows, last, crossing, box, all, fence, so which way you need. You put here the first letter. If you put window, so I'll type W, enter. Now, I can uh, open a window. So specify first corner. This is the window, and when it's window, uh, that means everything inside the window, totally inside the window, will be deleted. And watch now how they are faded. Everything inside, but the large circle didn't fade because it's not completely inside. Okay, it's not a crossing, it's a window. When it's a window, so everything completely inside will be deleted. So if I click here, the end, that will delete the rest. Now, if I go click anywhere <clears throat> here and this is a crossing window okay so this is a crossing window if you go and you know that it's a crossing because it's a uh, green color everything you cross will be deleted okay you can type f enter to make a fence everything i cross with a line will be deleted Let's say that after I delete, I, I need to deselect and I need to remove things from selecting. In this way, I put R, enter, remove from selecting, R, enter. Now, 
if I click on any of these, I'm removing. Okay, you can remove from selecting. Let's remove this and this and this. Okay, to get back to the normal, A enter or add. Okay, now I can add. So remove R enter, remove this from selecting. A enter, add this to selecting. Okay, so I'm adding and you can add in any way, then remove. So this is how to use remove and add. Um, I gonna, if you hit enter now, it's all deleted because I just uh, selected everything. If I put undo, they will come back, okay? Now, I need to uh, show you here uh, ways to select in general. The first way, if you click, click down here and open, so you will get a blue window. This blue window is a, oh, a selection window and the color here is blue as you see it's a blue so everything inside completely inside will be selected so the largest circle will not be selected because it's not completely inside so now if i click anywhere the large circle here did not select it because it's not completely inside now after selecting if i need to erase i will erase them okay now Another way to select is a crossing window. So I can click anywhere. Remember the first one was blue. Now if I click on the top, left click, then now it's a green. Green window means a crossing window. And if you go uh, this way, like from up to down, everything you cross will be selected. So it shouldn't be completely inside, like this rectangle on the top. Uh, the large circle click and you know it's selected because it has now grips and if i delete i'll delete all of them now um, if you start any command for example move you will get select objects you can select in different ways if you forgot how to select type question mark enter you will get this message down to tell you what the way so from this way you have see here we have a lot of ways actually uh, the most common ones windows last crossing all all it's very important like if you put a enter you select everything on the screen or f fence uh, w p uh, which is a window polygon c p crossing polygon so window polygon if i put here wp enter and i draw a polygon so window polygon so everything inside this polygon completely inside okay will be selected enter so only this three because they were completely inside if i need to uh, select more objects i'm not sure how question enter will give you the option C P let's type C P enter and now if I draw a polygon so everything I'm crossing because it's a crossing polygon and the color here is green then you enter so I selected everything uh, inside if I need to add uh, things I can click if I need to remove from selection, that is deselect. So either I put R, enter, and I remove this and this, for example, from selecting. So R, enter, will remove. A, enter, will back to normal, will add more. Or if you hold down the shift key, if you hold down the shift key, you can deselect. So this is another way to uh, remove from selecting. Hold down the shift key, which is a really good way to deselect something, okay? If you put F enter, you can uh, create a fence. 
okay and you everything you are crossing you select hit enter now everything now uh, selected here anything with the blue is selected you hit enter now you move uh, specify base point if I uh, remember we are in the moving so any point that and I can move the things that I selected now uh, let's erase let's get back to erase if I put um, last so the last thing I drew previous the um, the previous the last thing I picked or I selected so let's say uh, select object and I put P enter so this is what selected the last thing it was selected okay um, however if I need to uh, erase last so the last thing is uh, the last thing drawn um, to me, to be more uh, clear with the last and the previous, I'll give you one example. Um, I will copy. Okay, copy. Use the copy command, select object. I will copy this circle. Okay. Now, the last thing picked or selected is this circle the previous one okay the previous things is this circle the last drawn is this circle so if I select now previous will select this one if you select last means the last thing is drawn and um, if you remember uh, the charts let's get back to the chart a little uh, the previous the entities that were previously picked so the last thing it picked the last thing selected last the entity that was drawn okay so this is very tricky sometimes let's get back to uh, AutoCAD so here I copied this circle three times the last thing selected to make copies is this circle the last thing drawn is this now if I need to erase so start the erase command now select object if I put P that will select the previously selected circle enter as you see that one will be deleted now if I put erase L enter the last thing drawn is this circle okay so erase last enter and this is the last thing drawn. So last will the last thing drawn. P the last thing selected. Okay, and uh, this is uh, how we distinguish between them. Now I need to show you how to select similar, and this is very important as well. Uh, let's say that I need to select all the circles to move them, to copy, to delete, to do anything from um, the modify command. I can choose um, select this circle one circle and instead of going over each circle and clicking on it I can do this the following right click select similar and you see now all the circles selected if you need to delete the circles you can delete the circles okay uh, if you do oops they will be back now, um, similarly, if I need to select the lines, I'll select one line, right click, select similar, and all the lines will be selected. I can move them, I can erase them, I can do anything from the modify. Undo will bring them back. Redo will delete them again. So undo and redo. Uh, the same thing for rectangle right click select similar I'm selecting all the rectangles I hope that is clear um, as of uh, the selecting uh, method um, that's uh, questions from uh, chapter 2 um, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.